Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on the Nike LeBron 16 and why this version is his most hyped shoe yet. We'll go over a comparison to past releases, possible colorways including Space Jam, the tech specs, and how all this combined together brings the hype. Remember to check out my past couple of videos, one on NBA reporter Chris Haynes' journey to reporting and the NBA's new sneaker rules that will allow players to wear whatever they want every night. And remember to sound off in the comments down below and leave a thumbs up on this video for more Topic Tackle coming soon. Let's get started. Ever since designer J Jason Petrie took over the LeBron signature line for Nike in 2009 with the LeBron 7. His recent models have had a lot to live up to. LeBron 8 South Beach is widely considered his most famous shoe of all time, as it is a top seller on resale, and well, I ranked it the best shoe in LeBron signature line in a past video because it's an iconic silhouette. The LeBron 8 was James's first shoe after switching teams in the 2010 NBA offseason. Taking his talents to South Beach may have made him a villain to many fans, but it only helped his sales. Since the LeBron 8, Petrie has continued to design excellent performers, only problem is the LeBron 9 through 14 had trouble capturing the lifestyle off-court appeal. And that's how the market is trending right now, as according to a Forbes article, the performance basketball market where shoes typically retail for at least 120 peaked at 1.3 billion in 2015 but fell 13.6 percent last year and the current trend favors athleisure with sales of sports leisure styles up 17 percent last year in the u.s to 9.6 billion we are very much in the sports lifestyle phase of the business right now and because of this petrie and his team successfully restored the energy to lebron's line with the 15 last season the battle knit upper and sleek look allowed collaborations with kith to be possible and we saw lifestyle models of a performance basketball shoe come to be now with the lebron 16 it's the perfect storm for the hype to arrive again. Like the LeBron 8, James is going to debut the 16 on court with a new team in a much bigger market. With his popularity with fans at a high and the new sneaker rules allowing him to wear basically whatever he wants in terms of color schemes every night, I guarantee you James will bust out some player exclusives that will get people talking. It was just announced that LeBron is going to start in Space Jam 2 and the filming for that will take place over the 2019 offseason. Now we may be on to the LeBron 17 at that point, but we might not be. So we could possibly see a LeBron 16 Space Jam colorway come out of this like we saw with the Space Jam Jordan 11. And if the LeBron 16 Space Jam can do just half of what the Jordan 11 ever did, then that would further immortalize the 16th signature shoe in LeBron's line. The Space Jam 11s were literally the best release of all time for Nike. All time. The lifestyle push has already started for the LeBron 16, as the first colorway to drop was the Harlem Fashion Row, which is designed by women, specifically for women. Next up, the What The 1-5 through five colorway combined the first five general releases into one. I took an L trying to get this one, just being real here. And the fact that each colorway is going to tell a story plays well to the market. For example, the first official GR release on September 20th, Fresh Bread, includes a lion with red eyes on the heel counter. The motivation behind this logo was LeBron's iconic stare down in Boston Garden before Game 6 of the 2012 Eastern Conference Finals. The Heat were down 3-2, coming off a 2011 embarrassment versus Dallas. If LeBron lost to the Celtics again, it would make his move to the Heat look even worse, because he joined them for a better shot at beating Boston. With legacy on the line, LeBron James played arguably his best game ever, dropping 45 points and 15 rebounds to secure a victory and eventually go on to win the series and the championship. It's stories like that that'll make the LeBron 16 widely popular among consumers instead of a basic black red colorway with no meaning behind it whatsoever. LeBron's Dunkman logo also appears on the heel of the outsole which is another defining image of James throughout his career. Finally, the tech specs include a revamped and improved battle knit 2.0 upper in which Petrie described they needed completely new machines to produce, an actual tongue, and a full length Max Air setup with zoom units inside for cushioning, ranging from $185 for GRs to $250 for designer collaborations. The LeBron 16 is going to burn a hole in that wallet a bit, but hey, that's just how it goes now. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Will the LeBron 16 be James's most iconic signature shoe, and will you buy a pair? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below, and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3, out!